The periodic table is the most important infographic. So much information can be represented because it's, it's the ultimate classification system. It's the natural classification system. And there are different versions. There have been a, more than a thousand periodic tables published. More than a thousand with variations. Period means length. It means you know, a period of time. Per something periodic is something that repeats. Look. A clock repeats, right? This came about in the project for the students. We came up with a new version of the periodic table. The students were absolutely delighted because it got into the website that collects together all the periodic tables. It's, it's a coincidence that because the periodic table has such wide appeal, then I've been fortunate enough to work in an area that lends itself talking to the public and talking to more generally. I do history and philosophy of the periodic table. So I've looked in detail about who discovered it and, and all the steps in between. You know, I've always wanted a, as deep an understanding as possible. I'm not one of these people who just likes to solve numerical problems. I want to understand. So I kind of stumbled into the philosophy of science. I, I thought I was going to be a regular chemist. I have taken, obviously, a, a piece of the philosophy of science. I'm not <clears throat> attempting the whole big question of what is science. Um, so I've looked at the relationship between chemistry and physics. So it's the question of reduction whether one science reduces to the other. So science builds on itself. It's the strength of science that it allows itself to be wrong. But of course it keeps looking for better its descriptions. Because the more we know about the world, the more we survive in an evolutionary sense. I always tell students, if you really understand, then solving the problems and doing homework is easier. So first to do the hard work of understanding, and then everything else comes easier. Thank you.